Good boy. Good. Good up. Good boy. Good boy. Up. Cheers, mate. Good. There it is. One of our white mugs for you. Yeah? Yes. Go on. And he likes the oil. Yeah. Up. All right. Oh, I was covering it. Good boy. Good boy. love about him when you just like hardly a touch on him and tell him wool, like, hardly a touch, wool eh? hardly a touch and he'll hold this, walk on darling, walk, 
And he'll hold this all the way down this hill. If I tell him to, whatever speed I tell him to hold it at, he'll hold it at. You can see the traces there. Yeah. It's a very, very, very slippery hill. I'm just showing you this. I wouldn't recommend people do it. I'm just showing you. I know how the horse is shod. I know, you know, what he's capable of doing. And he's holding all this weight back here. It is a very slippery road, you can see. But he'll hold all that. And if I ask him to stop, will it? Well, there's a good boy. And it, that pony's put himself crossways on that road. Like, at, you know, if you see them in Wales, ponies, they don't come down, the, you know, the tracks that they use to go up and down the mountains ain't in a straight line. <laughs> they always zigzag off. Walk on, walk. You just hold all that weight back there. No trouble at all. You slide in there, look, can you see? Literally just sliding down the hill, yeah? Now you can say to me, well, you're mad. Fancy doing that to a pony. The point is the pony's not panicking, he's holding it back, he knows that's what he's got to do. And you can see the two different roads in. If we just look back up behind us, you can see those skid marks. Just showing you here in more detail the skid marks uh, that he's made coming down this hill. It's a very, very slippery stretch of road, but as Barry said, we know how the horse is shod and we know that he's not going to hurt himself by doing that, but we're just showing that he hasn't got a problem holding it back on a slippery surface, which can frighten a lot of horses. Walk on. Come over. Yeah, come over. Come over. Woo. Woo. The other thing is with this, this pony, we just come down the hill there, and as Belle said on the film, she's showing you the skid marks on the road. Now you can say to me what well, is, no need to do that. The point is, if you was coming down a hill that's slippery, and your brakes failed, yeah? The horse has got to hold it. Now, he's gonna slip and slide down. Now, if he's used to that, or at least he's done it before, he's gonna cope with it so much better than he would. He would panic horse and frighten horse. And if I just show you here, this is, come here, darling, this is this good bit of road here. Now, come back, baby, come back. And he put that back up the hill, look. Yeah, walk on, walk. So what I'm trying to say to you is, training of horses ain't just putting them in a vehicle. It's all them little things that when you get problems later on, they can cope with it, or it's not a problem. And that is the secret. So he's got a bit of head uh, movement, this horse, and I'm not sure what it is. I've had a look, I can't see any wolf teeth come in certainly no soreness in his mouth that I could see but it could be that he just when he's opening and shutting his mouth you know as he's going along um, it could be that he's got a little bit of sharp tooth at the back so it might be an idea just to get his teeth checked yeah? 